five and six. So this is a very quick video of Miss Dyer reading your model text to you. So this is an example of what a good letter would look like and sound like and hopefully it will give you some ideas of the things that you can include in your letter. So you'll notice straight away that we've got the address on the top right hand side and the date that it was written. Um, and this is the address of the person who is writing. So a Miss A Brown has written this letter on Tuesday the 23rd of February 2021. Um, they're writing to somebody called Melissa. Dear Melissa, my name is Alice Brown. You may recall meeting me at the Totnes Hub last year. I am a pupil at Totnes St John's Primary School and have very fond memories of visiting the Hub as well as meeting yourself and other members of the community. Since the pandemic began, I've often thought of you, especially the jokes you told me. At the time, they really made me smile and feel less nervous about visiting. Thank you. I am writing in the hope that I can make you smile in return at what is a challenging time for everyone. So you'll notice in that first paragraph, year five and six, that Alice has introduced herself and reminded Melissa of where they met, so at the Totnes Hub. She's reminded Melissa that she's a pupil at Totnes St John's and shared a fond memory or a happy memory that she has of herself and Alice and Melissa sharing jokes. And she's explained why she's writing. It's a little bit out of the blue, isn't it? Melissa might be thinking, why am I suddenly getting a letter? So she's explaining that she's writing so that she can make her smile as well. Okay, let's keep going then. Hope. That's the feeling that flooded my heart when I heard the Prime Minister's broadcast last night, Monday the 22nd of February 2021. How did you feel? As soon as I heard that schools would be reopening and that we'd be able to see family and friends again, it felt like there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Recently, the days have become much lighter and warmer, a sign that spring is on the way. Sir Captain Tom Moore often spoke of brighter days to come, and I think he was right, because light brings hope with it. There is a ray of light at the end of my tunnel, radiating hope. Hope you can see and feel, feel it too, Melissa. Remarkably, in a year that we've been kept apart, we found many ways to be together. My family have been walking around Totnes and sharing stories about my grandparents, including where they lived and worked, and what Totnes was like when they were younger. Do you have any interesting stories about Totnes? In this letter you will find a picture of the river. This is one of my favourite places in Totnes because my grandfather had a canal boat. He told me lots of funny stories about him falling off the boat into the river. In one of his stories he talked about the spring sunshine and picking flowers for my grandmother. It made me smile to know that he also found comfort in the sunshine and spring just as I am finding hope and excitement in spring this year. Okay, so we've got our main body there. We've got two paragraphs that are focused on sending Melissa some hope. So we know how and why Alice is feeling hope. She's talked about the Prime Minister's broadcast. She's talked about light as being a sign of hope. She's talked about somebody that's inspired her, Sir Captain Tom Moore. And in this second paragraph, she's talked about the picture that she's drawn for Melissa and shared why that picture is, is important to her and one of her favourite places. And that place linked back to being hopeful, full of hope and excitement. Okay, let's keep going then. I think hope is a wish that your heart desires. Do you have any hopes for the future? I hope that we can meet again at the Totnes Hub so that I can hear your jokes and your stories of Totnes. In the meantime, perhaps we could write to each other and share our best jokes and stories. Here's my funniest joke. Question. 
Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. Yours faithfully, Alice Brown. So you can see here, Alice finished her letter with a closing paragraph. So um, she sort of said that she really hopes to see her again. And she said that um, perhaps they could carry on writing to each other. So she set a bit of an expectation there. And she's had a closing remark. She's left Melissa with a joke to close the letter. And finished with yours faithfully, Alice Brown. Okay, year five and six. So hopefully that was useful just to hear the letter being read. And I hope that there's somebody at home that you could talk about it with and enjoy it with at home. Okay, have a fabulous day, everybody.